Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I just want to let you guys know that I am no longer using Gamagatsu hooks when I target groupers on the reef. From time to time, I will use them when I target mutton snappers, mangrove snappers, yellowtail snappers, and all the other fish species. But when I'm specifically targeting groupers, I do not use the Gamagatsu hooks because... I have seen a lot of these hooks break and I've seen a lot of these hooks bend out. Even when I'm testing the knots, they bend out. I'm like, whoa. So I was like, I was having to test each hook that I was buying and to make sure they weren't going to bend. And I was just simply putting them on a, um, I would just have, I've got something on the boat that I test my hooks with before I send each hook. Okay. So. And we were breaking and bending these hooks out before we were sending them down and I knew something was wrong. So immediately I'd throw that whole package out because I knew that the package was defective. And yeah, we lost a couple fish because the hooks busted or they bent out. So I had to make a change. And making a change as a captain is can be tough. And myself, I'm like, when I have lost confidence in something i'm like i know that it's time to make that change so i'm now using bkk hooks so far so good i made that change the second week of grouper season absolutely love them so when i'm using uh big baits i'm using the the big monster number 10 inline circles um those are those are extra heavy power they're a little pricey but for me they're worth it but I have to say, their their regular like their regular heavy circle hooks are awesome. Okay, so they've got a super slide coating on there. I don't know. Some say it's just a gimmick, but for me, I've seen it work, so I'm sticking with it. I'm not sponsored by BKK. Uh, I I like them so much that I brought them into the tackle store at Tavernier Creek Marina. So if you'd like to try some out, we've got them in stock. I've got the number nines in there at the inline circles that I use. And I've got the number eights in there as well. And there's all different sizes that I have of the BKK circles. I highly recommend you guys give these a try. We have put some intense drag on these, on these hooks and they have not yet been out. And I'm sure that eventually one will fail, but I have to tell you what, we caught a ton of groupers in the month of May. And if you're on my Instagram, you can check them out, but I have not posted all of them yet. So we caught a bunch of groupers. We've also, we also caught and released several Goliath groupers, like big Goliath grouper, grou groupers on these number nines and number eights inlines, BKK inline hooks. So I highly suggest you guys give them a try. Again, if you're coming down on vacation, uh, you can stop into the tackle shop at Tavernier Creek Marina and yeah, go into the Good Karma Sport Fishing section and pick up a couple and give it a shot. Guys, so I actually fish full time for a living, okay? And what I talk about and what I do is actually what I do day in and day out. I do not rely on getting intel from people I don't rely on somebody telling me where the fish are at. A lot of people do. I see it every day. I know who they are. Now more than ever before do I see it. So what I teach in my group is real shit. Real stuff. Okay? I want the guys in the groups to be able to develop the knowledge and practical skills to be able to find fish without having to call a buddy. Because that's the only way you get better. Truthfully is developing that skill on finding fish. I could give a shit less whether you catch fish. If you're getting the bites, you're doing it right. And eventually you just gotta hone your skill. The first thing you should do, the first thing that you have to learn is how to find fish, okay? Where to look, how to read maps, where they're gonna be, what time of year, what depths, how they move in and out. Now, sometimes, you know, your style of fishing isn't gonna like adapt to where the fish are at. like. You know, some guys don't like the anchor. Some guys like the anchor. Um, you got some guys that like to troll. They don't like to troll. Let's say, for example, flying fish and when they're chasing dolphin. A lot of guys want to run out there and, and throw pilchards at them. But when they're chasing flying fish, you got to troll and get in front of them and get a fast moving bait. That's just how it works. Okay. 
And sometimes you go out there and it's full of weed and you can't troll, but the guys that have live bait, they're out there pitching in the, into, the, into the weed mats catching fish. That's how it works, guys. That's how it works. You're not always going to have the right shit, but you can be ready, okay? You can be ready. You can make the most of your time, and that's the kind of stuff I teach in the groups. Uh, I want to give you as many tips, and I fill your head full of knowledge, but yet in a structured pattern, and I'm teaching guys how I did it, okay? How I started out um, species by species, and I often get asked, would I change anything or how I did anything? Absolutely not. I started with Yellowtail Snapper. I learned as much about that fish as I could, and then I gradually moved on. That's how I did it, okay? I took it baby steps, I learned the fishery, and I know what my limits are, what I can and can't do, and, and what I like and what I dislike, and I honestly, want to say is it comes down to what you really like to do okay what you really have the most passion about and not about what the other guy is doing and trying to compete and and if you're one of those guys and i know that a lot of guys listen to this podcast that are just in here to mooch they don't like me but they still gravitate back to this podcast every week and listen and hoping for that nugget i'm going to share with them so again Guys, I really have a lot of respect for the people that listen to this podcast that are good human beings that really, really love the fish, okay? And if you want to take it the next step further and you really want to learn, I highly encourage you guys to get involved with the either the Good Karma Sport Fishing Rigging Club 1 or Good Karma Rigging Club 2, okay? These are private groups. And these are screen groups, meaning that I vet every person now, and I want to make sure that they're the right fit for the group, okay? And if you really want to do some some one-on-one and you're not into the whole group thing and seminar thing, then now I'm offering Good Karma Saturdays. And Good Karma Saturdays are one-on-one sessions. And if you're interested in booking a, a session with me, then you can email me at goodcarmaryan at gmail.com and I'll send you more information about that as far as what we do and some options and the pricing. And if you're looking to take it a step further, I offer my coaching, my, my big coaching program. That is where I work with you one-on-one over the course of six months. And if you're interested in that, that's, there's a whole lot that goes into that and just too much to talk about right now that is for that program is for recreational anglers only and you can email me at goodcomeryan at gmail.com as well if you're interested in that program and for all you guys that want that little extra edge out there in the water to stay focused when t- things are tough um, i've been using on it i started using on it like it's a it's a natural supplement it helps improve focus and i'll have that link in my bio if you want to order some and give it a shot and as far as booking a charter with me this um, in August and September, uh, I've got some availability as far as what we're good fish we're going to target. We're going to start doing some some early season wahoo fishing here in August, and we'll do some blackfin tuna fishing as well. Uh, mutton snappers, maybe some black groupers. Just depends on how the how, what the water quality is and all that good stuff. But um, yeah. So if you're looking to book a trip with me, you can email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. I have availability in August and September. And if you're booking ahead for, I would highly suggest that you book ahead for October, November, and December for Wahoo season because we're going to get after them this year. New tactics and all that other good stuff. So that's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. You can follow me on Instagram at goodkarmasportfishing underscore fl underscore keys. Check out my online courses at goodkarmafishingtackle.com, especially the Mutton Crusher course uh, where you attach the Bloom Fisher King clip. Quit handlining long leaders. (laughs) Jeez. And guys, remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good.